We're going to start this one off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat. And this is Julep, and it is called Florence. And that is on my nails. I think I did three coats of this. And I topped it with Pure Ice Girl on the Run. And I wanted to show you guys, this is those crazy bottles. I have to use my little holder for these because I knocked these bottles over bad. <clears throat> And I couldn't help myself. I topped this one off with Northern Lights. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. And I'm going to be using this You Are Beautiful Plate 17. Get it all lined up here. And I'm going to be using these two flower images close to the corner up there. And my Faber Nail Scraper and my Monocle Stamper. Today I'm going to be stamping with the Square Hue Nang. This came out of my last box from Square Hue. And this was actually suggested from my friend over at Bombshell Nails. She was thinking that this would be a beautiful polish to stamp over like a cream polish. And this was the closest I could get to a real, you know, like creamy color. The Florence was. So I'm going to use this image on most of my nails. And it's the more open image. Let more of that Florence pop through with the Northern Lights. I'm going to do that on my thumb, pointer, middle, and pinky. And then on the accent finger, I'm going to use the other more full design. And I know this isn't a stamping polish, but it really did stamp great. That image didn't pick up well, but, you know, probably me scraping wrong or something. But this really did stamp like a dream, and I was so impressed. And line that up. Plop it on there. And in between, I am cleaning up with just some acetone and a cotton ball, with using my cotton claw with it. it was funny when I had painted my nails this tan color my husband and I went outside and he said I thought you were gonna paint your nails <laughs> and I said I did he said you painted them the same color as your skin <laughs> and here we go this is that more closed image it's got um, it's the reverse of what's going on all the other fingers and I just thought this would look really cool And this did pick up all the image and place it on my nail, but there's in the design, there's like that gap kind of up in the corner. So I'm going to just use some of the leftover and just kind of fill it in a little bit. Just squish that in there because I didn't want it to look like something was missing. So there we go. back to the other image for the pinky this was one of those manicures I wasn't sure I was really gonna just love but I actually ended up really really liking it it was a nice um, break from a lot of the other kinds of manicures I use and even though this wasn't a stamping polish I'm my little tape trick that I use. I don't know where I learned this trick, but it worked pretty good even on this regular polish, getting it cleaned up. Of course, I didn't let it just totally dry dry. You know, I didn't walk around the house for 15 minutes or whatever. I did jump right on into the tape removal or the tape method of removing the excess polish. out. I know I keep saying that, but it's so true. I mean, I always do come in at the end and clean up with 
the acetone and, and a cleanup brush, but being able to get most of it off and not having acetone and acetone and, and keep doing it over and over, it's, I think it's just better when I can do some of it this way. I'm not as good at remembering my cuticle oil and lotion as I should be, so my cuticles and skin around my nails gets kind of janky at times. I'm going to get that out of the way. And here we go with the, and today I'm not using just pure acetone. I'm using my Zoya Remove. It's got a little bit a little bit other stuff in it to make it not so harsh. And the cleanup isn't too bad because we got most of it up with the tape, so we're just going to tidy this up just a little bit. It looks so much better after I get the cleanup done. Really looking forward to the next square hue box. I've really enjoyed this year's collection so far, so we will see what we have. And it won't be too long. We're getting close to the end of March, so you know it's normally one of my first ones. My first videos in May is the square hue box. So and I'll also be doing my KB Shimmer Birthstone polish at the beginning of the month. So I'm getting excited already about those two videos. There it is all cleaned up. Turned out pretty good. We're going to top this manicure off with some pure ice girl on the run. I know I confuse you guys bouncing back and forth between posh and the pure ice, but I do really like both of them. So sometimes I just, I use what's out or sometimes I go hunting for the one I feel like I want that day. And as you can see, this isn't smearing this manicure. Um, I don't know how it would do, you know, if it was a stamping polish, but I think this is pretty good and dry by the time I get to this point doing the top coat. So the posh, I mean, the girl on the run did really well for this one. It's kind of had like a little bit of a Hawaiian feel to me, or tropical or something. Not totally, but a little bit. Got a little bit of that vibe going on. Capping those ends. Making sure that the manicure holds. I'm really bad about getting tip wear with all the typing I do, so I always try to remember to cap those ends so that that manicure doesn't just chip smooth off. I'm going to have a visit from our orangewood stick. Of course, one of my friends is calling him Orangey, taking on a life of his own. <clears throat> and I do end up doing this on both hands. I just, <laughs> I know sometimes I have different manicures on both hands, but on this one I actually did this manicure on my left and right hand because I loved it so much. So there we go, all top coated and done. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And that is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.